Hey, guess what? Breaking news. Candace Owens is out at the Daily Wire. CEO says controversial right wing commentator Candace Owens at the Daily Wire have parted ways. Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship. Daily Wire CEO Jeremy Boring. Is that his name? No Mm -hmm. shit. He did not elaborate on the circumstances behind the move. But we know it's about Gaza and, and Israel. Owens joined the Daily Wire in 2021 and hosted a weekday commentary show for the website. Shortly after Boring's announcement, Owens confirmed that she is no longer with the Daily Wire and reposted his statement. The rumors are true. I'm finally free, Owens wrote to her 4.8 million followers. There will be many announcements in the weeks to come, posting emoji. And she said that fans who would like to support my work, she's, she's going to crush it. She doesn't need the Daily Wire. You don't need any of these people. She doesn't anymore. need any. She doesn't need them. I, that, that, they needed her. And they needed her. She doesn't need the Daily Wire. Believe me. I don't know this just about Israel because, and by the way, I subscribed to her. I looked up that thing she talked about Macron. I don't doubt it at all. Uh, but that's ah. probably part of it. What? That Macron's wife was, was a man. Oh, that, that Macron's wife is a man. No, you can't find any pictures. Yeah. Michelle Obama has pictures as a young as a, girl. As I've a young them. girl. I've seen those <laughs> yeah, pictures. Like, like, but you can't find any of Macron's wife. That was a, no. I'm, I'm going to replay that. That was quite a segment. And why but, would you? And why would you have to arrest people for talking about it? You could easily disprove this nonsense. Right. Obama is not a citizen. Here's his birth certificate. Here's his birth certificate. They go, but where's the long form? No, I don't care now. He shot a birth certificate. Easy, easy. Hey. And as a rich chick in France, to come up with a picture. She's going to bring back her YouTube show, she says. Owen's departure from the outlet comes after months of tension between her and the Daily Wire co-founder Ben Shapiro over Ben Shapiro, who has absolutely no values whatsoever. He's just a partisan tribalist. Is he a founder? I thought it was so. He, Carl, this whole thing guy. about fe- facts don't care about. Yeah, he is. Facts don't care about your feelings, all that stuff. He he doesn't believe any of it when it comes to him. Now my feelings are chosen, and he's not about. He's not America first. He's Israel first. He doesn't care about international law. He doesn't care about genocide. He doesn't care about anything. And he certainly doesn't care about free speech. He's a neocon. He's a neocon. And also, he thinks retirement age is too low, and it's older than he thinks it is. Yes. He's a a fucking jerk. Uh, She said that uh, co-founder Ben Shapiro, over her promotion of various anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, since October 7th, Hamas terrorist attacks on Israel's civilians, Owens has been increasingly critical of Israel's military response in Gaza. No government anywhere has a right to commit a genocide ever. There is no justification for a genocide. I can't believe this even needs to be said or is even considered the least bit controversial to state. She posted on, on Twitter in November comments that appeared to be directed at Israel. You think? Shapiro, who is a firm supporter of Israel, he is, is Israel first, not America, because this doesn't help the United States. This is bad. This makes things worse for the United States. So Ben Shapiro's loyalty is to another country, not the United States. Uh, and that's pretty obvious, right? I mean, I don't think it's controversial for me to say that at this point. Uh, Shapiro is a firm supporter of Israel who was seen in a TikTok clip speaking at a private event calling Owen's behavior absolutely disgraceful. And a uh, friend of the show Nick says Candace Owens spent years fear mongering about cancel culture on the left only to be canceled by her friends on the right. Oh, I never even thought of it like that. That's a great way to. That's a great, also, here's what, Macron's wife is hilarious. I think debunking is uh, Rothschild. And there's all these articles about, oh, you're going to go on with this Rothschild conspiracy, space lasers. Like, they're, <laughs> they're, I'm, I guarantee you, she never said anything about anything right. Rothschild at all. But coupled with not supporting Ben Shapiro's feelings about the facts in Gaza yeah. and that, you could see where it's going. It was only a question of time, Glenn Greenwald says. There was no way an outlet founded by and built around Ben Shapiro could possibly remain associated with the vocal critic of U.S. financing of Israel. As I've said for years, claimed core conservatives' values come to a grinding halt for Israel. They don't. And so John Stewart said something smart one time when he was in the middle of shilling, I'm sure. But he said, um, or pushing another war, uh, he said that if you don't follow your values when it's hard, then they're not values, they're just hobbies. Yeah. And that's what Ben Shapiro's fa- values are. They're they're just hobbies. They don't really care about free speech. They don't really care about America first. They don't, any of that stuff. They don't care about genocide or rape or murder or any of that stuff. Well, America first is the name of a really shitty little fucking fake gay racist movement. But you mean the concept America first, not the actual thing that they would trot out on MSNBC. Okay, so I say good on Candace Owens. Um, 
Uh, I think her commentary on uh, Israel Gaza has been really good and helpful. And Chris uh, Cuomo, I thought was amazing. She smacked down Chris Cuomo gently. She would be nice to she's him. She's being really nice I was to like, him. What? She's nice. Uh, she's she's been uh, she's been really. She's come a long way. She's come a long way. Put it that way. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, London, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, El Paso, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Edmonton, Alberta, Vancouver, Jeez. British Columbia, and Denver, Colorado. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. Mm-hmm.